Hi, John here with Aspaniacs again, and some useful information for you today, which is rare for this channel, I think, because it's normally just me ranting and giving my opinion on stuff. But this happened to me, and I didn't know what to do. Last time I went back to the UK to visit family and that, when I landed back in Spain, I didn't know what the rules were. And I found this article, so I thought we could have a little chat about it. It's not going to be my longest video, but it is a useful piece of information nonetheless. Let's have a look. Which line should I queue in at the airport in Spain as a British citizen? We answer your questions about airport travel to Spain, such as, can I use the EU line if I have a TIE or residency? Yeah, I think that's an interesting question, because as I say, when I got off the plane at Malaga Airport and there's the queues for the British passport holders or the EU passport holders, which is obviously empty and the British one's busy, right? But I've got my TIE card on me, you know, it's stuck inside my passport. I'm a Spanish resident, surely I can use that lane. So I did. I went down the EU lane with all the EU passport holders and I got to the front with a Mr. Spanish policeman behind his desk and I just handed my passport over with my TIE card stuck on the bit and he just waved me through. And I was like, ah, lovely, I don't have to queue with the British people, I'm a Spanish resident. But maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's have a look. Reports of hours long queues at Spanish airports for UK citizens recently have sparked many to wonder if they can use the EU passports line if they are resident in Spain and have an NIE number or a TIE card. So what advice is there regarding which line UK passport holders with Spanish residency should get in? The EU one as it's where they live or the non-EU one? So this is obviously where I find out I would have been in trouble if someone had said something to me and then made to go to the back of the queue, I reckon. As a UK citizen, you cannot, or at least are not supposed to, use the EU line. Since the UK is not part of the EU, your TIE card only certifies you that you are a resident in Spain, but does not provide you with citizenship. Thus, you will have to use the non-EU line, queues or no queues. So yeah, I messed up basically, but I got away with it. No one said anything. And if I landed at Malaga Airport again when I go back, you know, probably a month or two's time, I'll go back to the UK for a long weekend and then come back again. If I get off the plane and there's a massively long queue in the British passport section, I'm going to go through the EU one again and see if I get told off. I don't know. But I, I went through and I spoke in my best Spanish to Mr. Man behind the counter and I showed him my card and he seemed quite fine with that. So I probably would try that again. So I don't think you'd get in trouble for it, would you? You'd just get told to go to the back of the queue, which is where I would have been anyway. So I probably wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have lost out too much. So what's the point of having a TIE or Spanish residency? Being a resident in Spain and having either the old paper style NIE or the new document TIE ID cards allows you to remain in the country for more than 90 days out of every 180 without a visa, a rule that came in after Britain left the EU. It basically states that you live in Spain, that it is your place of residency, and you're not just there on holiday. Well, they're simplifying what the TIE cards mean a bit there, because many TIE cards, you'll get the right to work and to live or to claim benefits or lots of different things, your health coverage, it's a lot. So uh, yeah, simplified a bit there, but yeah, that's the thing. But uh, I don't know, would I do it again? I would, I would do it again. 100% I'd do it again. I'm not going to stand in a long queue if I could skip it. Who would? I'm Spanish. Spanish don't like queuing. So what do you reckon then? Would you do the same as me? Would you go through the EU queue if you've got a British passport, but with your little TIE? ID card in there because you should show them that as well even if you're in the brick queue you're supposed to show them your TIE card and then they won't stamp your passport not that the stamp would matter to you if you've got residency anyway but it does say and you are supposed to show them your ID card when you re-enter when you re-enter the country but would you try and skip the queue and get down the EU lane like me because I will do it again I will do it again I know I will if there's a long queue I'm guaranteed to do it again so let me know if that's something you would do or if you didn't know this and now you do know it because yeah, I didn't know it before last time, as, as I told you. So it's interesting information for once on this channel, isn't it? So let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, because if you do that, hopefully I'll get to see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.